Let's start off with the spring forward pack. Let's go. 740 credits. Is this going to be a W? Or is this going to be a big, fat, shiny, shieldy, swordy L? Well, that was great. Anyway, <laughs> pack number two. I believe in you, Supercard. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I said I believed in you. Hey, at least we got one. We got Royal Rumble 21. Right, let's go. Okay, you're literally killing me here, Supercard. Come on, that's 20%. Supercard gods, come on. Bless me. That's not blessing. That's horrible. The last one, I'm just going to speed up. Come on. I don't have much to say about that. That was absolutely atrocious. Now I like to start the videos on a very positive term because you come to me wanting to see entertainment. But what I just showed you was a very mixed bag because that is this event in a nutshell. It's kind of good and it's kind of uh. But don't worry because I've got you covered with a brand new blog post, Spring 2022 Packs, Quests, and it's surprisingly easy quests, and some things that as a player you should be doing to get yourself more of these cards, especially the very rare Road to WrestleMania and WrestleMania 38 ones. But before we get started, I'm going to need a huge thumbs up from each and every one of you for my pack luck, because... Recently, it's not been very good. So if you could give me a little bit of a cheer up, that would be amazing. And hopefully it'll be enough to revive my tortured soul. I mean my pack luck. Whilst you're there, if you're new and you want to see more of this kind of thing, make sure you press the big red subscribe button and comment down below with what your most recent spring card has been. It could be one of the season seven or season six ones, or it could be a brand new WrestleMania 38 that you've managed to get off of the board, which I have not yet. But let's go on to the actual event in general. Yes, the cards are pullable everywhere you go, any mode, regardless. As long as the packs say you can get them, you can get them in anywhere. For example, if I go to pack battle, they are included in pack battle. So make sure you don't forget this. But the top charisma packs do not. So make sure you check if they do. But team stomping grounds, the exclusive draft board, superstore packs, all included, most of the things that you do, it's gonna be covered. Now, most of the event is to do with fusions. You collect these crests off the board. You guys know this already. It's not anything new if you've been in the game, but you get these a maximum of three times a day off the draft board. Yeah, I know a lot of people are probably thinking to yourself, why three times a day? Well, technically, it gives you a guaranteed rest to WrestleMania and WrestleMania 38. Although the odds for these are not amazing. Based on what I saw in the spring 2022 packs, which you're going to see later on, don't you worry. It, it's about a 15% to 85% split in favor of the Road to WrestleMania cards. Per day, don't screw it up. But how do you get more? You're going to have to complete quests. No doubt they'll be in free packs. No doubt they'll be in QR codes that will come out during this event. So basically keep your eyes and yourself glued to the channel and my social media pages. Because it seems unless they remove that cap, which I doubt they'll do, that is the only way you're gonna be able to get your hands on them. The fusion points are legitimately ridiculous, but there are ways to combat that, and that is very, very simple. If you're in a higher up tier, such as WrestleMania 38, Road to WrestleMania, Raw Rumble, save your Maelstroms and your Valhalla cards up and pro them at your earliest opportunity, my suggestion would be to play Survivor Mode, for example. Which actually, just so happens to be the word of the day for the comment section. So make sure you leave that with your most recent card in the comments and I'll drop you a heart just for paying attention. The biggest tip I can give you so you don't flood your card collection is to get yourself support. Why? Well, it's very simple. The supports have their own counter now. So you can hold back ones like I've done with this Ted DiBiase and then use them in the fusion chamber, whether they're singles or whether they are pros. Another thing is enhancements and equipment that you might not want to use, but pros get you the biggest points. Unfortunately, five WrestleMania 38 singles aren't enough to get you a fusion started. The positives of this system are you get a free fusion every day. The negatives of this is that free to play players might be overwhelmed by 20 days of giving away their best undercards, stuff that they would use in game modes like Giants Unleashed, 
War Games, Clash of Champions, and Codebreaker. All events that just so happen to be coming up. So you might end up screwing yourself over by actually taking part in this event, which I know is probably not their intention, but that's what they might be doing. On the subject of decks though, hallelujah, the old deck editor is back. And if you hadn't seen it, they royally screwed up the most recent update, including this brand new, really cool looking deck editor system, which actually, you know, it actually looks really cool until you realize that they combined a bunch of decks together, including Ring Domination and Elimination Chamber and War Games and Giants Unleashed. What they have, however, revealed is that the women's event will likely be for this tier, a women's clash of champions. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I couldn't think of anything better if I tried. Now it has officially been confirmed that this is going to be the way it is until summertime where they will reintroduce this in a better way that's not gonna screw over people in war games and elimination chamber i can't tell you how much it impeded my progress how much i didn't want to play elimination chamber this weekend that i'm just gonna show you this now that for the first time first time since this tier started I have not got myself five momentum rewards. Why? Because during ring domination, you had to keep going in and changing your deck. And I just kind of gave up. Focused on poor man's supercard instead. But it's really good on Cat Daddy that have actually taken this aside and gone, you know what? We're actually going to work on it a bit more and I'll bring it back. Kudos. But will I have the same positivity to talk about with the quest and the 2022 spring packs? Let's find out. Segway. But we do have a quest to do. So first of all, we're gonna get our crests. There's two crests. Thank you very much. Here is a support, which second wind. Let's see what is inside this gas reset pack. Is it gonna be good or bad? Who knows? Well, seems like I have a uh, an obsession with Maelstroms this evening. That was terrible. Let's get the WrestleMania 30, 38. I'm gonna close my eyes those and I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna just hope for the best. Let's claim it for honor. Hey, Ricochet! I appreciate you, Rick. O'Shea. That is gonna be, uh... Well, hey, listen. A card to card, the pros are pro. Can't say much about it. Uh, how good are these compared to the standard cards, actually? I haven't I haven't checked. Uh, like Cody Rhodes, for example. I think they're, they're worse. These usually are worse than the, the special cards. Let's check this Ricochet as an example. So, versus Cody. Uh, Ricochet uh, beats Cody in zero stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wins in zero stats. But he, yeah, it's, it's basically one of those where you'd likely to get more fortifiers of these, so you'll take over. But they're also more likely to be pulled off the board. I have to say, this is basically the Egg Hunter. If you remember the Egg Hunter from Season 3, it is pretty awful. It is probably one of the worst things that's ever been in this game. And it's not surprising to me that I just decided to update this game mode and put it in, but not call it the Egg Hunter or the whatever, what do they call it nowadays? Uh, match Pack, that's it, Match Pack. If you don't know what this is, Barbecue barbecue Beatdown, I think it was called. That's what it was, was beforehand. Why do I have bad vibes about this already? Don't get me wrong, it looks it looks great. Look, look at these cards, they look absolutely fabulous, phenomenal. That image of uh, Rhea Ripley looks great. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on a second. I, okay, that is better. That is a much better. So I'm not going to give them. Oh, that's ridiculous. What are you kidding me? That's some audacity putting that one in there. That, that's ridiculous. Okay, anyway, we can open this first one. We go just pick this first one. We can get a Royal Rumble down the bottom. That is the Valhalla one to the right. Oh, we've got to get the, the Road to WrestleMania one. We're at the WrestleMania one again. Let's see what this one is at the bottom is. Oh, we've got a top one. This is, this is a WrestleMania one. Oh, that's about... So we're getting two of each at the moment. Top right. We've got two of each. Why have I got a feeling it's going to end up being the Val to Rus Road to WrestleMania? Let's go to this one. Oh, no, it's the, that's the bad one. Okay. Left. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow it's all welcome and inviting with these pretty little sounds but then it gives you one for this which is just terrible royal rumble oh top one okay so that is for the wrestlemania royal rumble again one for the that's the road to mania road to mania no you dare you dare give me that one Top one. Two thousand credits. Two thousand credits. Two thousand credits. What is this bullshit? Cat Daddy, really? You do so much so well, and then you do stuff like this, and it's just like you just picked it down the drain. I don't mean to be harsh, but that is bullshit. That pack should not exist. 2,000 credits for a maelstrom. So that tells you, don't touch this with a barge pole. But we're going to end this on a more positive note with an exclusive draft pick from yours truly. Remember to leave your most recent spring card in the comment section down below, wherever you got it from, whatever tier it was. And if you're new and want to see more of this, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button. And of course, hit the like button for more pack luck for me because gosh darn it, I need it. How many 10 cards here? I'm going to go straight for number seven. Oh, well, that's a new card. I'm very happy about that. Thank you very much. But anyway, I have been Super Summer God Barbecue. You have been awesome for watching this video, and I'll see you later.